Hello everyone, this is Todd with TEK Landscape and Design Incorporated and today we did a small backyard landscaping in Dyer, Indiana. A uh, customer wanted some color. She chose this nice decorative stone and uh, what we had there was just some grass and wasn't much so we have a full sun location. We had a little bit of choice of some colorful low maintenance shrubs. So I'm going to walk you through and show you what we did. And in my video, I have some before pictures. And basically, we just prepped the area, took some spray paint, laid it out, spray painted my lines, and I weed whipped the area down and put a 20-year landscape fabric down. And I'm going to walk you through and show you what I did. Right here, I planted... Uh, got a a western exposure here with my deck here put a vinyl edging in and we put this decorative stone which is called red granite looks a little bit light now but after it washes off it'll be a dark rosy with uh, black speckles and give it about a couple of weeks of rain and it'll have its natural color and i put a tree hydrangea in here called the phantom hydrangea tree hydrangea with four uh, geranium rosans that tolerate full sun they get about three feet round you don't want to put roseanne in shade there's some shade geraniums but this is a full sun tolerant geranium called roseanne put a little ornamental decorative granite boulder there this is called the spilled wine wajili i put them on each corner spilled wine grows to about three to four feet wide only gets about two feet tall the other cultivars are wine and roses this is uh, for uh, zone 5B. And wine and roses will get five foot tall, three foot round. So the spilled wine is a low maintenance variety. Uh, very little pruning, it will get a red flower. The middle one here is called My Monet Wajelia. And it looks a little ratty now, but it grows to about two to three foot tall and round. And if you look, it has a really nifty looking uh, variegated tricolor foliage, green, white, and pink. And as it matures, it'll look this rustic looking color in the late summer. And it'll sprout up a carnation pink flower. And this is a perennial called the Hookara Caramel. And it gets ginormous. It gets about uh, two foot round. It gets about shin high. Kicks out some dainty baby's breath like flowers on stalks similar to the hosta. And we just reversed here this little design here. And we just copycat mat the other side. The spilled wine wajelia, the hookara caramel, and the maimone wajelia. And the same thing here with this tree. Now we just had grass here growing as kind of like what you could see. So I just, uh, took out the weed whipper we put down this really heavy duty fabric I'll dig out some of this rock and show you this heavy fabric we have the rock on thick about three inches and there's my fabric down there we use pins pinned it down I never use plastic because plastic rips and now you know plastic these days it's not four mil it's two and a half so I mean you look at it and it rips and it's expensive it's a petroleum product then here she got some daylilies, and I just cut out an area in the fabric. We're going to let the daylilies pop through. We got this, uh, I don't want to call this a, a beauty bush, and I trimmed it up a little bit. It was pretty high. About, took about four foot off the top. Vinyl edging, red granite, decorative stone, colorful perennials, and low maintenance shrubs for small land, backyard landscape ideas. And back here, along the creek, are these spruce trees. There was mulberries growing, sumac. They're growing through them, and they're really taking the, taking the life out of the spruce. As you can see, they're dying out in the middle. That's from growth growing in between, and vines were growing in between it, and thicket. And I skirted the trees up a little bit, and you take that dead off. That'll help the tree... Put the food where it needs to go back into the uh, living foliage itself and help it'll take years for these trees to recover of course we're going to need an arborist specialist maybe we can inject some mycorrhizal fungi into the root system jump start them a little bit and do that in the spring and the cold season so they can start forming a nice root structure 
And that's the same thing that I did here. I used a mycorrhizae fungi uh, supplement for all my plants, for all my customers. Uh, put in the root system, water them in. And this mycorrhizae attaches to the roots and makes more roots. Does a, uh, an abundance functions for the plant. Aerates the soil as it penetrates uh, deep where other roots can't reach. It aerates the soil. It also stores water for the plant for three to five seasons. So you want to make sure you do that mycorrhizae in, in your plantings. And it will help the growth of your plants by five or six times per season until they reach their maturity. So there you go. My name is Todd with TEK Landscape and Design Incorporated of Northwest Indiana. You're looking for small backyard landscape ideas. I just showed you a couple of, of my favorites that I love to use for every house. Tree hydrangea, spilled wine wagelia, my Monet wagelia, hookara caramel, and there's many others that offer a lot of color with very low maintenance. That's the key. When we come home from work, we don't want to trim. We don't want to pull stems like daylilies. We don't want to, we don't want to do much. We just want to enjoy our colorful new garden. Hope that helped you out all. Please hit the subscribe button. Got any questions I can answer. Have a good day.